I think I'm gonna be restocked probably next week, I'm hoping. Um, acrylic brush and everything, but um, yeah. I think everybody's waiting for their acrylic brushes. They're gonna be they're they're gonna be restocked by next week. I'll announce them for you guys. And also the drill bits are back in stock. My gel art paint, uh, my gel um, black and whites are on the way. Um, what else? Uh, the paint art brushes are on the way also. I'm gonna shape this nice coffin shape here to a nice two bead. This monomer is just amazing. I love it really. It's so smooth with application. Turn any powder into a buttery powder. One, two, three. You have to place it. And it will lay just like butter. It's a nice smooth application, okay guys? Gives you less work later for yourself. See that? Sorry about that, everybody's going to see. The surface is smooth, structure is there. Get a little bit of piece in here that I'm missing. I'm going to put a little bit of acrylic there. This is my last day of the day. I'm going to get some work done. I'm going to finish setting up for my class Monday. There you guys go. Truly can do a one bead with this monomer, to be honest with you. It's been a while since I've done a one bead. a little bit more finessing, a little bit more control, but very possible. I'm going to bring up my second speed, like an apex speed. Give me some durability. structure always consistently shaping my nails <clears throat> Oops. huh this is a 121 hey Raymond hey Kendra those are my <laughs> dental pull I can't even find them Let's lie, but I'm gonna catch you later. Bunny Sun is coming on great. What is up soon? Oh, you're welcome. Congratulations on your salon. This color is um 121 by Chisel. Um, you see other people have it. It's like an off white or a um uh what you call it, a milky white, soft white. 
A lot of different names. But they're generally all the same. Some nice base white powder. bead, give me my structure, right here in the apex, nudge the powder forward, blend it into the cuticle area, blend it down, oh I've, I've replied to all the messages that have been sent to me for the classes, um, usually I don't reply when I'm working on a client, so after I'm done with the client, I always reply. So when you guys message me, I reply to you. And if you guys message the No Dead Studios page, I'll probably send it to my personal page. It's easy for me to send you the information. That if you do set the deposit, I can just add you to the group chat for the students. Oh, look at that. Wow, this color is so nice. Hola, hola. What's up, Marisol? How are you? It's been like months since I've done one beating. Still got it. Still got it, baby. It's all about powder control with that one bead. <laughs> and this is just your ability to show how much control you have over the powder and your timing and everything like that. You don't really have to do one bead. I think efficiently doing a two bead is way better. But in a sense, sometimes you just gotta test, test, test your uh, your skills, you know. Make sure that you haven't lost it. I think mastery of application is a good way to test it. Is basically when you're doing a one bead. There's a lot of powder. You gotta time it. You gotta control it. You gotta move it. So I think that is a true testament of your mastery of application doing the one bead. Yep, this is my monro with the chisel. That's a, my, my monro works so good with chisel. It's ridiculous. Look, look how big this bead is going to be. Get out of here. Did it. Man, I still got that fire. I still got that one bead fire. It's 
my apex speed, run it in. Do I like Chizzo? Uh, think of it this way. They're similarly the same, but this is half the price. So, financially, yes, I like Chizzo better. But not polished, I mean, the quality might be better with not polished, but for half the price, I think I will have to go with Chizzo for this one. I mean, it's $10, $11 per container compared to not polished is 20 or 15 if you can get it. So I think financially for me, um, having, if I were to promote a product, I mean, look, with my monomer, it, it lays pretty much like butter. So um, I have no issues with it. So I definitely would prefer chisel a little bit just based on the price and availability. You can get these anywhere, you know, any local nail supply store. Burn? Any local nail supply store, any, you know, locally. But Chisel is the biggest distributor of acrylic in the United States right now, so you can't really go wrong. I mean, they always have stuff in stock. They have a big facility. I've seen their facility. It's really, really nice. They're, they're like really to themselves too. They don't really ha need to promote or anything like that. They're just so big. They don't need to do any like promotions like other companies. Um, very genuine guy. I mean like, if you ever met David Huang, he's the owner. He's super, super nice. Like he still does nails till this day, even though he owns one of the biggest acrylic distribu distributor in the nation. He still does nails. You see him do demos with his products all the time. He doesn't need anybody to demo for him. He's doing nail tech at heart. That, that's what I really like about him, I guess. And you don't see David Valentino out there doing demos, right? He has people for that. But David, he was actually a, a nail tech and he's still a nail tech to this day. Still does live streams, still does nails. He really doesn't need to. It's kind of humbling to see that though. Someone as big as him still behind the desk doing the leg work, you know? I don't think I'll ever stop doing nails. Yes, uh, at some point I, I might, my platform will change where I'll be focusing on more other things in the nail industry. But I don't think I'll ever stop doing nails. That's where it started, you know? I have to do like one client a week or something like that. I have to do it. I got to keep my, my skills sharp. ready for the next giveaway I'm thinking some acrylic powder from chisel and now dead monomer to pair it up what do you guys think oh yeah that's why I promised to give away one student kit a student kit because a lot of you guys asked to buy it. I can't sell it, but I can give it away though. A student kit, what I usually give to my students during the class, I'm gonna have that as a giveaway. At 20K, I'm gonna give away. 
I'm pretty close. I know a lot of my students are in here like, oh, what? That whole kit for a giveaway? You guys already have it. Those are you guys already my students. A lot of you actually are returning students. You have taken multiple classes, so you have a bunch of those. <laughs> oh, that acrylic. Who are my students? When did you take your class? And have you used up all your kits yet? Let me know in the comments. I know you're in here. When was your class? And have you used up all the stuff you got from class yet? Is the monomer the secret to getting the acrylic to stand longer? No. The secret of getting the acrylic to stand longer is your prep and how you do your cuticle work. The monomer just helps you lay the acrylic. It's a bonding. It bonds. So the monomer will bond regardless. Some monomer are more runny, some more dry, some are a little bit harder to work with. Mine, a little bit medium consistency. As you can see, it, it does, it dries quicker, but it gives you time to work with it. See that? It's not flooding. I think a lot of people have issues with this, the flooding, where it's all over the place and they get, you know, can't control it. But this monomer with this powder gives you that buttery medium consistency where you can work your magic. Probably one of the best monomers on the market right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think everybody that used it has been happy with it, so I will be bringing bigger sizes pretty soon. Oof. Wow, wow, wow. So last finger, I think this set took me about what, 30, 40 minutes? Not bad, 30 minutes for the application. I probably finished the set under one hour. There's some quick designs on top, some hot pink stars. And we're good for the day. Marisol, did you use all your student kit stuff yet? Come on, all my students are in here. If you have to use up 15 containers of acrylic, you have definitely made your money back. <laughs> about to finish here. All right, clean our brush. Make sure that we feather through, make sure there's no excess acrylic. 
Yep, I am going to post my giveaway, and at 20k, I'll give it away. So I'll post it maybe in a couple of days. 20k giveaway, a student kit. All right. So shaping, everybody's worst nightmare, right? For me, I already did my shaping with my acrylic during my acrylic process. So shaping for me is like this. That's it. That's pretty much all you got to do because is a, the shape should be already there. You're using this just to clean up the shape, okay? Crisp it up, see? There's your coffin. Is that a round or over brush? This is not a round or over brush, it's a crimp brush. Um, it's a, a, my acrylic brush. I, all my brushes are crimped by me, personally. Um, I don't use round or oval. I like flat crimp brushes. Brushes that are a little flatter, not flat. Mm -hmm. Very simple, just a few motion. Look how crisp that shape looks. Like you, you're kind of like afraid to even file into it because how perfect it looks. How do you prep a new nail brush? Um, you're pretty much gonna clean it with the um, a monomer. A new nail brushes come that has a little bit of sealant in it, and that sealant holds the bristles together during you know storage. And you just take a monomer and you just uh, clean it, and get it out. It's like it's like if it'll feel like a little bit of like an acrylic residue being stuck in there, but you clean that out before you can use it. Or have that sticky feeling. If you don't clean it out completely, you're gonna have acrylic sticking to it. Because the acrylic gonna want to stick to that sealant that they put into the um, the brush. Quick here, get through the shaping process, cuticle work. 
and we're good to go with a nice buff and we're gonna get some design and we're good for the day. And really, a lot of the work is already done for me during my application, so that's why this process was just only took me like maybe five, ten minutes total, um, if not even a five minute total, to be honest with you. We're gonna purchase a high number of chisel colors. You can go to princessnailsupply.com. Princessnailsupply.com will have a lot of the chisel products. Yeah, pretty much every they that every every chisel product. This is my new drill bit. That oh well, well not new, but this is the drill bit that I'm using right now. It's back in stock right now. This is the medium one. And this is the sharp version, not the safety version. Okay. This is the sharp, not safety version. Relax. Yeah, it's a sharp bit, so relax. Or else what happened? You know what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't relax while I'm using this? Take a guess. Burn cut. <laughs> oh yeah, good guess. <laughs> What's it? Getting cut for 300, Alex. <laughs> what happens when you don't relax? When you're now tired of doing drilling? It's like Jeopardy. Do, 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 do. This is a carbide bit, it's metal, so I'll be able to break down um, bulk easily, very smooth also. It's a cross cut. Get in the cuticle area, make sure nice flush cuticles. You flush this cuticle so that when it grows out, you won't have any lifts, okay guys? That's the main thing, you guys have lifts and pop-offs from that. <laughs> Your trainer asked you where you learned the techniques from. <laughs> Are you in nail school right now? I actually get a lot of people in nail school that ask me for some of my content too. Um, to use, to teach during their courses. I said, yeah, go ahead and use it. I don't mind if you use it for like teaching purposes in like schools, but if you want to use it to like repost and for their own clout, then that's when I have an issue. So when nail schools and nail academies reach out to me and say, hey, can we use your video? 
during our teaching course. I'm like, oh hell yeah, go ahead and do it. So I know that's helping out nail tech come in this industry, you know? students become educators themselves and teaching their one-on-ones and classes I can't wait for that day y'all one of my students take that level up be an educator having their own classes and such that definitely be passing down the torch oh thank you Eddie <laughs> You're too glad, kind. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad you're growing. It's so when you like people that tell me how much they benefit or how much they grew from the from the videos, the lives. It makes it worth it because you guys remember I put a lot of time out on these videos and stuff like that. And my clients also, you know, they they invest their time into it too. I mean, they don't really technically have to let me do this on live, but they do because they know it's educational. So it's good to see that you guys are actually gaining from it. Okay. And I always appreciate the support on the platform, as always. Mm -hmm. One hand down. You just got to buff and do the design for that one. We're good. Quiet Saturday for you guys. No one's asking anything. No one's talking. I'm gonna have to start quizzing you guys. Let me do, let me do a quiz question. Let's see if anyone of you guys are paying attention. Um, let's see. Those are some questions that usually only my supporters will know. What grit sanding band do I use to prep the nails with? Be hundred dollars every Sunday to train, and exactly where I need to struggle. Watch it last. Oh, you pay a hundred dollars every Sunday to train? Where, like at a school? Hmm. Thank Carol Woodsy. Woodsy with the medium. Yes, I use a medium sanding band grip. Okay, here's another question. Why do I prefer the sharp over the safety bit when I'm doing cuticle work? Why do I prefer sharp over safety when doing cuticle work? Oh my God, I just had such a great idea. Because you're skilled and using a sharp would probably be fair for you. Mm, that's pretty close. There's a reason why I prefer the sharp over the safety. I need to know the answer. I, I never saw a sharp one. And you never saw a sharp five and one? I know. There is no sharp five and ones. I'm the only one that probably has them. Because people associate five and ones with safety bits, you know? 
So I was like, I love the 5 one but it's not sharp enough. I like the sharp bits, because I like, the reason why I prefer the sharp is, the sharp gets you into the cuticle area like this, without removing too much acrylic. So that you don't remove too much acrylic, then it's gonna keep the nail, uh, you don't look like it needs a, uh, it needs a fill already. Also, the sharp gives you the ability to get it nice and clean right into the nail bed. Um, the safety bit version definitely works good also, but the reason why I don't like it is because it's, it's cambered, it's more rounder at the edge. So when I tilt my drill bit and go into the edge area, I'll remove more than I need. Because, not because I, I messed up, just because it's cambered. So with sharp one, will remove least, and also it gets in there really quick and very fast. That's why I prefer sharp over a, um, a safety. That doesn't mean that you can't use a safety the way that I use right now. You can, okay? Just as a safety, when I go through like this, that area that I remove is gonna be more visible because it's, it's a more cambered edge. It means it's a rounder edge. That's why I prefer that. But once you're using a safety bit and you get these techniques down, how you control and go to the cuticle area, you can slowly move yourself into an, a sharp bit. And it'll be the same. That's why I have a sharp and a, sharp and a safety. It'll be the same bit, same size, same weight. It's just that the difference is a little bit sharper. So now you're more control. You should be able to use it better and you get better and better. I do recommend everybody going getting a sharp bit because you need, because it just gives that nice crisp seal to your cuticle area so you don't have to worry about any lifts in the future that will result in the pop-offs or greenies and all that stuff like that so definitely um hit up that sharp bit and work your way towards it okay guys don't be afraid either i know safety bit just sounds really really nice but at some point you just gotta really use the actual tools and if you're careful, you should be fine. Majority of the bits now are safety bitted because they don't want, they, because that's what the, there's a lot of new beginners coming into the industry, so they want to cater to the beginners, but I don't want to, I, I definitely want to cater to the beginners, but I want to encourage you guys to actually work your way up to you know, some sharper bits or different type of bits. If it's not for you, it's not for you. But I really suggest it. The better your application, the easier it is for you to do these drill work. She wants some hot pink stars. I have a hot pink shell. I'll put some hot pink stars on here. And that'll be my Saturday. I'm gonna take the rest of the Saturday off. I'll see you guys tonight, possibly, for a Q and A. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna definitely take it easy. Hopefully a lot of my students are in town tomorrow. We'll probably go get some lunch or something, but Monday and Tuesday, I will not be working. I will do teaching a private Orlando class here in Orlando. So you guys will be seeing me add to my stories snippets of the class like I always do. And there you guys go. Wash your hands, please. Mm -hmm. using my for my gel art this hot pink she wants a hot pink stars and I'm gonna use my Latin brush here a striper brush we should be back on stock soon. See you for the Q and A. Have a good one.
Have a great day. Get practicing. Yes, get really good. Cool. See you the Kiko Eric. Great. Good job, Brianna. Awesome. So it's always exciting to have you guys work towards that. You know, it's good to be careful, but definitely you have to really push yourself to the next level. So she definitely didn't dry her hands. You dried your hands, not your nails. What are you doing to me? <laughs> so we're going to do a series of stars. Do big. Small. Stars are pretty easy, guys. We'll do a small. Just start out putting the, the dots first, okay? Now I'm just gonna switch from big to small. So the bigger the star, the bigger the dot. And the small dot for the small star. So big. Big, small. So I'll take my liner brush. Because this is gel art paint, it's not gonna, it's not gonna move on me. And we'll put in the and once I have this. See, it creates a star. And I'll do a smaller one here. Just like that. Very simple. Um, consistency, make sure the lines are straight. And I'm borrowing the polish from the dot. I'm not, put, I'm not bringing any more polish up, okay?
And you notice if you use a regular polish, these dots have definitely been bleed all over the place or anything. Because this is my gel art paint. So it's a very thick consistency. So it's, it's going to stay where I put it. That quite simple. Simple design, but actually really cute. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can put little dots here and there. You can put little tiny dots, like smaller stars. That's for one hand. Now we go in. And the same thing over here, guys. Big. Big. Small. And I'll switch it. Big. Small and small. Let me go through. You can take it out. Up. Side to side. The small ones are a little bit harder. Make sure you use just the tip of your brush. You don't want to use the, the fatness of your brush because then it'll ruin the star look, okay? See how much faster I am over this hand? Once you do one hand and you get used to it, you'll know exactly what to do with the other hand. It actually speeds up your process a lot faster, okay? You need to get faster based on that. I already know exactly what I'm doing. Just repeating the process over and over.
Okay. Top coat, we're good to go. This might actually glow. <laughs> In blue light, black light, it might glow. Well, there's supposed to be a lot of light reflections. Mm -hmm. so I'll tell you if it does. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see you guys for the Q&A's only. No more nails until next Wednesday. All my books are closed. And switch, no switch. For my classes when i do classes i don't have my books open Yeah. Glad you did this instead of the no, no, crazy no, rhinestone no. set that I that you wanted to do. Like this one's really pretty, I like this. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys to the Q and A's. A nice coffin set with just some stars hot pink stars oh it's cute oh that lighting there you guys go i'll catch you guys later i gotta get some work done finish up my day and i'll see you guys for the q a tonight okay bye guys thank you for joining me <laughs>